What's happening, family? Welcome back to another episode of Let Us Tell It. I'm one of your hosts, Marcus Tanksley, a.k.a. Tank, and the other host is... Who's bad? How y'all doing? Already. Hey, if this is your first time tuning in, we greatly appreciate it. This is a podcast we do every single week, and uh, we, you know, we talk about pretty much all the topics. We talk about a whole lot of stuff. We talk about all that stuff that, and it's coming from two stable men. We fathers, we husbands, we uncles, mm-hmm. uh entrepreneurs, podcast hosts, content creators. Damn right. Um everything. And we actually this week we got all our topics from our Patreons. Mm. Uh we reached out to them and they gave us some suggestions. So a lot of those things that we talk about today is gonna come from them. Mm. And we greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Patreon. We do, because coming up with topics be... Uh, it be, it's hard. Yeah, That's it why is. I suggested that, because yeah. usually you come up with them, and I know how difficult it is just because me and Angel got a podcast we've been doing for, damn, six, seven, eight years. Sheesh. And it's hard to come up with topics. Yeah. It is. Uh, so anyway, we usually start this every week. Uh, you know, it's mental health. You know what I'm saying? So we usually get something off our chest, something that's got some pressure building up. Goose, you got anything mm. you want to get off your chest? These damn kids... Came to my house. Yeah, I told you I got my ring right, and I put the solar power on it so I ain't got to worry about the batteries. Yeah. But I'm in the garage walking. It's like 10 o'clock, 10.30, I believe. I forgot to do my walk, so I'm in the garage walk. I get you a got call, treadmill? Treadmill. Uh-huh. Uh, on the treadmill watching a movie, get a call from Mel. She in the house. She was like, somebody at the door. I'm like at the door. Now I done, I don't know how I missed it. Yeah. But the ring didn't notify me. So as I'm walking, y'all, I got a t-shirt on. I'm in just some drawers. <laughs> so I'm like, so walking in your drawers in the garage. Walking in drawers in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I hop off the treadmill, open up the, uh, go inside the house, and all I hear is Christmas carols. Y'all, it's ten thirty. At night? At night. Oh, yeah. These young kids, um, uh, Latinos, Armenian children, white boy children, at my door. I'm about to open it. But I'm like, they ain't got no drawers nah. on. And I don't know if this is a decoy to get me to open the door so they can rob me. Yeah. Because my car was broken into. Right? So... Your car was opened. Yeah, my car was open. <laughs> it wasn't broken into. It wasn't broken into. They ain't damaged nothing. It probably was unlocked. But they went through my glove compartment. <laughs> and got, and it, got, got, got my it. damn manual. I want my manual back, man. <laughs> Suckers. But anyway, my heart pumping. Because yeah. I see it's like six of these boys outside my front door. So, you know, I go to the back. Get whatever I need to get. Mm-hmm. By the time I come to the front, they gone. Uh, I don't know what y'all parents are doing out there, or what y'all are telling y'all kids. But that you you don't play like that. Not at ten thirty at night, mm-hmm. walking up to a random house. You didn't. They didn't know me. They don't know right. what and, was happening. And that's the thing. It's like, because I seen y'all's house in y'all's neighborhood, you would never expect Greg to answer the door in that no, neighborhood. They, you wouldn't. They'd be so <laughs> shocked. When people you should have when I open the door, they'd be like, oh. I should have. Yeah. I'm telling my you. My shit swinging. You would never expect Greg to open the door. You go in their neighborhood, you're going to expect an elderly white person yep. to answer the door with pearls on. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I should have opened it. They should. I should have just had my meat swank. Hey, what's up? Chris, they were singing Christmas. Yeah. That's a- hey, y'all can't see it. I got it on my phone. But uh, tell your kids not to, you know, obviously y'all probably don't have children that would do that. But yeah, you know, they do. spread the word. Tell them don't do that to just a random house. If you don't know the person, if it's 10 o'clock at night, and then on the Ring app, people are houses are getting broken into, cars are getting broken into, um, um, just robberies are happening. It could have went left. Yeah, well, uh, well, you gotta think about the uh, time of year it is. Schools are getting out. It's summertime, 
So now you got all. If you go to the mall or any store right now, you see they all bumping up security because mm. all these kids is out doing stupid stuff, doing acting ignorant, mm. summer vacation, and that's what happened. They probably in their last week of school, celebrating, going around neighborhoods, causing issues, being stupid little kids. Yeah, that's exactly what I can tell you. That's what it was. It's, that's Think what was you doing when you just last the week of school? <laughs> Thing, knocking on the door and singing Christmas carol. We might have knocked it right. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> but you would have, you, Mel wouldn't even had the time to know what was happening. We was doing that. And that's what, that's what I thought when she yeah. first said they at the door. I'm like, oh, somebody around here knocking on yeah. at, at the house. And then I heard some, hey, what were they singing? They were singing something. I'm like, what the hell? Singing some damn Christmas carol. I should have went out there and Skit, ah, do it again. I'm gonna be waiting for. Him. I'm telling you, I'm about to buy a paintball gun. I would have lit all the motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Something, but yeah, man, they came to the house, scared me. My heart was beating fast because I was like, oh, it's going down. They done came to the only black person in the neighborhood house. <laughs> nah, the neighbor oh. didn't answer, so they just came to your house. That's all. They were. <laughs> the light was on in the kitchen, so they probably was like, oh, they home. Yeah. Stupid kids. Stupid kids. That's what I want to get off my chest, man. Y'all tell your children and any other immature adult, don't be coming to people's houses unannounced after 10, 1030. Y'all, this is late. Like, some shit could have went down. So, uh, yeah. Anything on your chest, bro? Uh, y- Y'all know what? I might, I might have to make this a series. Um, I put up a post about, you know, the tags and stuff on people's jackets and blazers and stuff. Oh, like when yeah, you buy, I saw that. buy a blazer. Engagement is great. Like, a lot of people, and I appreciate the next post I'm going to put up, I appreciate the people being honest, saying, oh, mm-hmm. I didn't know this. Because the thing is, is people saying that, oh, this pisses me off. I don't understand why. I'm like, P- if people don't know, they just don't know. That's why I was made the video. Mm-hmm. So those people that aren't, yeah, that are courageous enough to be like, oh, I didn't know this. I appreciate it. But I was going down through just, I'm like, oh, okay, this is getting, this is well received. Mm. <laughs> but of course, you got idiots in the comments. Oh, of course. So for y'all that don't know, I put up a post and, you know, if you get, whether it's a woman, sometimes women's, but all the time men's, blazers, sports coats, whatever it is, if it's new, it's, the pockets will be sewn closed. They do that to make shipping easier so none of get damaged. And it's easier to tailor if you sew it closed after you sew, get the pockets and stuff. Anyway, that's why they're sewn closed. So there's a little thread in there. All you do is open it, cut the thread, open up the pockets. That's all you do. So as I'm giving this description, and the back, you know, the little tag on there where it says whoever the brand is, it'll be a little badge on the sleeve. T- cut the two little threads, pull that off too. In the back, there's vents. I kept calling them flaps just to make it easier for people to understand. Mm. It's going to be two on the side or one in the middle. Cut those threads because that's supposed to open up. So I just simply explained that. Like I said, 99.999% of the comments, pe- people were either like, I don't understand why people don't know this. Oh, it's irks my nerve when people do this. Or they're saying, thank you. I didn't know. Or I'm a single mom. I have teenage boys. I'm glad you told me this because I didn't know. Or, oh, I just bought my son a blade. I'm so glad you told me this. I'm going to go check now. Mm-hmm. Great responses. But they're 1%. <laughs> oh yeah. You got it. One fool talk about first of all, that ain't a blazer, that's a jacket. Yeah. You man. stupid. F- we just talk about it don't matter if it's a trench coat. It don't matter if it's a pea coat. <laughs> These things are going to be so closed. I'm it don't matter what it is. <laughs> that's where your mind went. <laughs> Somebody else. Those ain't flaps. Those are vents. Clearly the IQ level. And that's what I have to remember. You got some idiots walking around on this planet. Mm-hmm. Like the fact that I'm just getting the point across to people for people to pull off threads off their clothes that need to be pulled off is all the point that I'm making. Yeah. The fact that you talking, whether it's a sports coat, a blazer, or a jacket, really? You talking about the difference between the number of buttons? <laughs> like that's literally what you're talking right now. That brings me to <laughs> when I say three fourths, and somebody was like, "You mean three quarters?" Oh my god! A Shit. quarter is a fourth. You, you, come on, man. It yeah. 
it it just like and I and the thing is that didn't stand out to me. Like it's an overwhelming positive response other than the people mad at the people that don't know this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which also kinda like, but why are you mad? <laughs> I am sometimes, because when you be saying, I be trying to tell people how to turn off water to a toilet, yeah, and they don't be knowing, I be getting mad. I get that. I don't. <laughs> I do, because I get mad too. But, what but you I have saying, no reason to get mad. <laughs> but to make everybody feel good about the situation. A lot of people don't. I didn't know that. What's that? That tag. The tag? Oh, yeah, yeah. But all same, my same thing with the turning off the water. Got my t- got that same. So if Michael you, Kors. if you let's say the tag is right here, your yeah. watch, there'll be a thread on bo- both sides of that. Yeah. You just clip that, pull the threads out, pull that badge out. And when you when you showed it, I was like, well, damn. <laughs> well, I'm, 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 I'm glad I hadn't been around you with a jacket on. You'd be like, you talking about me, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> if you I didn't know it. I ain't never seen you in a coat. If in I a took suit. a picture. We took some family pictures. I had like a pink coat on. Uh-huh. Damn, did it have it? I'm going to check it. But you I can mean, edit that out. You can go to Facetune yeah, and edit that out. The photo, the <laughs> photographer might have already did Yeah. Because yeah. if tripping, it's going man. back, hey, leave it on there. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Oh, but, yeah, uh, if it's going back. They, that's probably why folks don't be knowing. They be taking stuff back. Yeah, people always got something. To, it's always a negative. Yeah, and it, it's just like I said. Yeah, yeah. something. For the most part, that didn't uh, those didn't stand out to me. It was just like I was more impressed by the people that just admitted that they didn't know. Mm. It was a lot of dudes in there like, man, I never knew this. Or, so what you gonna get into the neck size, the cuff? I'm like, yeah, all of it. It's a whole bunch of suit stuff that goes to a suit that I grew up knowing because my dad he was in the Air Force and mm. and we went to church and I had a dad in the house mm. that knew these things. Mm. Some a lot of these young men, if they do have a father, maybe he don't know. I, because he did, wasn't taught it, you know what I'm saying? It's simple I'm as that. I'm quite sure they wouldn't know about the, uh, like, the 42, the chest Yeah, the uh, chest measurement and all that. Yeah. And it depends on the brand. Like, some brands, I'm a 44 long. Other brands, I'm a 46 regular. Mm. There was a, a, a European suit I put on. I was a 48. And I'm like, I know Dang. I ain't this guy dang big, but yeah. they run small. They run small. But, um, yeah, a lot of people don't know that stuff. Dang. It's probably the uh, yeah. So if the if y'all see the lights, the dimming and stuff, it's probably the camera trying to adjust to the contrast difference between our shirts. Cause I have on a brighter shirt, Goose has on a darker shirt. Oh, sure enough, he is doing it. Or is it? You can you see it in the middle. And it probably does it even more if we move and stuff. Yeah. Well, damn. But it happens. Sorry, y'all. It ain't it ain't y'all's phones. It's not the lights. It's the. Uh, See, we ain't dressed alike today. That's yeah, the it's issue. the camera trying to adjust. This is, I, I thought about start recording on an actual Canon, like my vlogging camera, mm. um, because you know we got memory cards and you just do it the same as this. What but if anyway, I just take my shirt off. Leave your shirt on, man. I don't care about okay. your creatine and your hair. All right. It's gonna All be right. a lot of hell now. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, y'all. Moving on. Um, me and Mel, when we got married, we spent. A couple of thousands of we spent a lot of money on our marriage, mm. on the wedding party, on Same. the food, Angel, on, the, on the venue, everything. Y'all got married in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. I tell Every, you what, it was a lot cheaper than getting married out here. Oh hell, yeah, I'm quite man, sure. Man, the prices they we we heard people paying. We was like, we went to the horse park and rented out one of their facilities. Like, yeah, <laughs> I can only imagine out here how much it was, but. In total, I think we paid seventeen to twenty thousand dollars for our wedding. That's mm. everything. 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 Pants <laughs> <laughs> say, okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's a little inside joke, y'all. Uh they ain't on it. They ain't okay. But so some of them. So uh That's why this, people oh my bad. That's why a lot of people do destination weddings and stuff. Yep. Cause it's like we just gonna spend the money on vacation. Yeah, if we gonna spend it, we gonna. And be now on y'all vacation. gotta spend it too. And y'all got to spend it to get out here. <laughs> this mom though spends sixteen k on her daughter's prom dress. Sixteen thousand dollars on her daughter's prom dress. On her daughter's on a prom dress, y'all. Obviously, 
you know, it's levels to everything. So if you got it, you got it to spend. Uh, yeah. If you got it, you got it to spend. But the average person spending 16K on a prom dress is is wild to me. When there's dresses that look perfect on them girls for three hundred dollars. Yeah. And you spent sixteen K on a dress for one night for high school? What, what it was happening? makes it makes absolutely no sense. Like like you said, if you got it, I guess. But a lot of that comes with teaching your children about core values. Your daughter getting a sixteen thousand dollar dress to go to prom. Is she going to college? And is she on uh, <laughs> financial aid? If she is going to college, because if she is, that's a problem. That's what you I'm know. Saying. What I'm saying like, <laughs> who? What? You could go to Hertz for so you're gonna pay sixteen thousand dollars. She asked, so if y'all can't hear Kennedy, they said it was for the whole experience. The car, the dress, the hotel. Uh what's she doing at this hotel and who's she doing it with? One. The car, you can go to Hertz, rent you a nice little Cadillac. That's how we did. <laughs> the dress you still rent for a whole lot cheap. This is still sixteen thousand dollars for a night for a high school experience. You could go to prom as a – we could go as juniors. I went what? to four prom – six. I went to six proms. What? I went to six proms. All four years? All four years and some to other schools. See, Cause this, I look this good, is Because I happens. look good in the tux. Because so you, girls was like, hey, you want to go prom with me? It's because this man been six <laughs> four since he was three years old <laughs> with a beard. That's why. <laughs> They probably thought he was a senior. Nah. All four years. Oh, you still here? Nah, my, my freshman me? year, uh, my boy, he was like, hey, man, you want to go to the prom? I was like, yeah, we can't. His date had a uh, had a sister, I think, in that was a sophomore that wanted to go. And I was a freshman. It was like, hey, my boy Tank. My man and we'll, Tank. And, we'll, and, uh, and his, no, yeah, his date. So basically his date. And I, they, we switched so we could get in. So he act like he was taking ah. my date, and she act like she was taking me. Then once we was in, it was just like, it was cool. Dang. Uh, sophomore year, who did I go with? Sophomore year, I don't even remember. That man, I went to six prom. Six prom. Then I went to two other school proms. Maybe two. did I go to two or just one? But it must be nice, man. Like what's the like what what's going on? I don't me, I don't get the I don't get that. Sixteen thousand dollars for a night. Like you said, y'all paid twenty thousand for your marriage. Yeah, yeah. For the wedding. Where yeah. people you pay for people's food, you pay for entertainment. Yeah. You pay for a hundred I'm sure a couple hundred people yep. to eat and you doing all this for your daughter to get Drive, I don't know, drive a car, go to a hotel, and I don't know. We're we're the wrong people for this yeah, conversation. Because we are. Me, I'm going to speak for me and some men out there. We don't, what, 16 grand? I don't care if it was for, yeah. the, uh, for whatever experience you had. If you had goddamn a magician come through and make your car appear and Disappear or they said whatever. Her, her college better be fully funded. That's exactly. what I'm saying. Like, it's levels to it. You, this person has to be rich. If you're, if you're not wealthy, you, you, you out your head. You out your mind. Especially if your child doesn't have a full scholarship to school. If you don't, if if y'all living in a project somewhere and you That's just spent, I, I want to know what high school she go to. Well, it better you know be too. private school. Like now, we out here in California. Mm -hmm. We our kids are in private school. Now we got some people that go to that school that cele that celebrity money is poor to them. Like they mm -hmm. got wealth yeah. upon wealth to the point to where these kids will have a party. Like let's say it's, they had one of them had a homecoming party one year. Mm -hmm. Invited the entire school. They rented out, or I think it was on their—I don't know if it was on their property or one of their one of their family's wineries. Dang. 
But this is something that is like we doing this for the community mm-hmm. to enjoy. The whole school gonna enjoy it. Marcus went. He said it was a DJ. They had magicians going around doing yeah. tricks. They had people performing on stage. They yeah. gave away hoodies. Mm-hmm. They had a hoodie. Just everybody got their own hoodie. They came to the event. They had valet out front. Like this is. <laughs> so I'm like, if you got it, but. This is a stark difference. Is this was like, oh, we're gonna have a party, and we're gonna include everybody. This is for this young lady to get a dress, a car, and a hotel room. Yeah, yeah. If crazy, it's like I said, they you got saw, it, but I don't understand the with the example that you. You talking about sixteen k? Some schools would cost what three thousand uh, a semester, or three thousand. If your college costs five thousand a year, does college cost that much? No. Nah. Or is you're way talking more than that? forty fifty. For, dang, forty fifty a year? Shit. Full 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 tuition. I take it back. Yeah, it was fifty when Angel and them, yeah. So it's like seventy, something like that. Dang. If you can get whatever you spend for prom, <laughs> shit, <laughs> that should only be ten percent of what you spend for it shouldn't even be at. Like you said, three hundred dollar prom dress, a hundred and fifty for the damn car rental. Yeah. First of all, my daughter ain't getting no damn hotel room. You bring ass back to the house. Or I'ma be at the hotel. My when I went to prom, <laughs> my prom date's mom was in the hotel room. It was like, yeah, y'all can stay. I'ma be here though. And it, it had like a suite. And we were in different areas of the other uh thing. I took a girl but, to prom. Oh, go ahead. But yeah, like you, me and Greg gonna be at uh, oh yeah, at Mc- McKinley. Oh man, we gonna have our own party. Like this is her room, but we gonna be kicking oh, it. Oh man, <laughs> they gonna be like, why? Gonna show up. Like we gonna have a swimming pool. Yeah, yeah. We gonna have a oh. swimming pool, hot tub. We yeah. in there partying. You good enough? Oh y'all back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They gonna hate me. <laughs> they gonna hate me. Cause you can do whatever you want. Time. Oh yeah, the the damn uh, NBA Oscar, the game, the finals will be on. We be in there smoking cigars, watching the game. They gonna have a limo, everything. I'm gonna yeah. be the driver. <laughs> All right, y'all. Okay. Yeah, your, your uncle Tank will know if y'all want yep. anything when y'all get back to the room. Yeah. <laughs> he up for now. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, but I'm gonna be with you every step of the way. Every I, step of the way. There was a. Uh, was this a prom or a senior dinner day? I don't know what it was. One of my homegirls at the time, I uh, took her to this. I don't know if it was prom or what. Mm. And like I said, it was just my homegirl. We weren't like intimate like that or anything. So at the end of the night, she was like, oh, you can drop me off at the hotel. I'm going to go kick it with my friends. I was like, all right, cool. Didn't matter to me. Mm. Pull up. She get out. I'm like, all right, you like, thank you. Yeah. I pull off. I don't know where I went the rest of the night. I wake up. And my dad's like, so what did he say? I'm like, what? Apparently, I don't remember having this conversation. Apparently, her dad calls me and was like, where's my daughter? What? And I guess he talked to my dad first. My dad put me on the phone. I was still asleep. I don't even remember having this conversation. I, so I called her dad back. Mm. I was like, I'm sorry, sir. I was asleep. I don't remember the conversation we had. He said, I was calling you looking for my daughter, I was like, I dropped her off at this hotel at this time because she said her and her friends are going to be there. Yeah. He was like, that's the same thing you told me when we talked to her. I was like, okay. I said, that, that's the la- I hadn't talked to her since. He was like, all right, thank you. Got the word back from her. Was like, no, he busted up in there like, where the hell yeah. should have brought your ass home? So I, yeah. then my dad get on me. If you pick a girl up at her house, you drop her mm-hmm. ass off back at her house. Yeah. No matter what she said. I was like, look, I... I ain't know what was going yeah. on. <laughs> so I, I don't know who she dead. And I remember she was like, I should have just stayed with you. I should have just stayed with you. I was like, I ain't got nothing to do with it. I don't, there's nothing, especially in high school, you, a girl going to a hotel. There's no, oh, my friends, we at the hotel. No. I, I ain't never did nothing after prom. <laughs> Everybody like, you smile? I ain't never did nothing after prom. Mm. Now, before, <laughs> before, like, with somebody else, I've never taken a date to the prom that I was actively smashing. Oh, really? Nah. Interesting. I never, I wouldn't speak on that stuff. Is that true? Did we go to prom? 
Because now, you know, your prom date. I take it back. It was one I was, but that was my girlfriend. But we uh, didn't nothing happen that night because I was going out with my fellas and she had to go back home because she was a, a sophomore and I was a junior. <laughs> do, you, do you ever feel awkward, like, talking about past relationships, especially knowing, like, if the girl is married now? No, that's why I don't say names. Ah, uh, okay. But even if you don't say names, your people that know you know who you're talking about. But they already know. They already, they know, already know we was we went together. So, uh, it's, <laughs> but what if her husband looking like? Go ahead, say some shit. I would never say nothing disrespectful about nobody. Mm. Mm, okay. I, I, that's that's one thing. One thing I never kiss and tell. Well, it's not. I never went around I'm talking not saying, about nobody. Saying stuff, uh, di- anything disrespectful, but like. Man, I went to prom and boy, we got damn got oh, to nah. know. Hey, <laughs> in high school, like, come on! If you can't get past something that happened in high school, then you got bigger. Oh, well, you yeah. got bigger issues. That's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, this six sixteen k is a lot. Uh, if your child, they might be scammers too. They might have just swiped the scamming card, you know, and they ain't pay for nothing. To be honest. They, yeah, they, they could have done it like that. But if you took your hard-earned money and paid for a, a prom experience that ended up being 16 k and your bills ain't paid and now you got student loans and your baby ain't got no diapers. Uh, Man, you better not have one crooked tooth in your whole yeah. family. Yeah. I'm talking about dental playing good. Yeah. <laughs> like, to throw it away on, a, on that. <laughs> Your vehicle, your personal vehicle, better be paid yeah, off. I've been yeah. out here about no bills being paid. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. Moving on, but you know somebody that do let me got see that somebody money. squint. Like you should have had glasses instead of paying that damn <laughs> sixty. <laughs> they could have got lazy eye yeah. surgery. <laughs> you could have got a BBL, yeah. baby. BBL, Drizzy. Moving on, man. I'm moving on. Uh, you know somebody that probably did pay for you a sixteen thousand dollars. Uh, prom dress. Who's that? Northwest. Northwest. Mm-hmm. Kanye, Kanye, and Kim. Is it is it hurting you, Kennedy? These damn transitions. Y'all like that transition? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. How about? No, nah, you didn't. <laughs> I, no, I didn't. That didn't happen. Okay. Whatever. Well, they gonna end up paying millions probably for her prom, but uh, Northwest. That's her name, right? It's her first name is North, in the okay yeah. Northwest. Cause he goofy. Yeah, that's all right though. Uh, where is Northwest though? Northwest, what's is that like North Dakota? What cities? What states is that? You know what the the that map is so off because the fact that the Midwest is geographically mostly east. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like St. Louis is Midwest. But look at all that land that you have that's considered quote unquote central. It's weird. I don't know. But Northwest, anyway. I would consider not Washington. Idaho is that what's beside Washington? Washington. Wyoming. Washington what? DC? No. Washington, oh, Washington State. State. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is it's Idaho. I think. Idaho, um, Milwaukee. Yep. I guess that would be considered Northwest. Okay. Maybe, I don't know. That's what they're saying. Is that what it is? Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. Oh, you got them wax states. All right. Big well, ass, it's square states. <laughs> Northwest, though, uh, they are remaking. Southeast. Southeast. What's the. <laughs> <laughs> she got siblings, don't you? Yeah, I don't know. Do, Do she? Are those like Southeast? <laughs> how, would a, how would it be oh, Southeast? Because it's west. It'd be Southwest. Southwest. <laughs> Uh, West West. He really named one of his kids Chicago? Yeah. Chicago. Chicago West. Palm. Palm West. Palms. Psalms. 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 Hmm. Interesting. That's cool, man. More power man. to you. Saint. More power to you. And you and oh, you. they got it right here. Longitude and latitude. Psalm Saint. Uh, in Chicago. Northwest. Uh, they're remaking. My sim- ain't creatives. They're remaking <laughs> the Lion King, y'all, and uh, they had some very talented individuals, uh, k- children, go in to play Simba. But the less talented that they say she's less talented, uh, Northwest was able to secure the role playing Simba. That's wild, though. 
Northwest is a girl, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang. Okay. Well, they said nepotism came into play, and this is how she. Was uh, Baby Simba originally a boy? Yeah. Your the boy. voice actor? Your boy, yeah. Who? The, uh, the black kid. Um, what's his name? The original dude? Uh, I forgot his name. We'll move on. Yeah. Who was the original? Uh Jason Weaver. Jason Weaver. Yep. Oh, okay. And he was he was his voice, the way he sung, everything yeah. sound great. Is this the animation mm -hmm. that Northwest is in? No, no, no. They did a uh, It's a live like Broadway Broadway type. play? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's Okay, Jason Weaver. That's so uh, I knew that. I think nepotism. Oh yeah, and they say that she came in. Everybody tried out, and it was down to the last three or four contestants, and uh, she just walks on, and mm -hmm. they dismiss everybody else and let her have the spot. That's what happens when your parents are billionaires, though. And I mean, it's unfortunate, but hey. Is what it is. You best to be damn show. Sure. Damn show. Sure if Kev on stage makes a movie and there's a role for a bearded, bald headed man, I'm playing it. Yeah, if it ain't gonna be him. <laughs> yeah. If it ain't gonna be him. He gonna pull a he gonna pull a Eddie Murphy and just play all the characters. <laughs> if there's a if there's a role that I can play, I, nepotism's going to come into play. It's, yeah. it's going to come into play. Uh, well, with Kev, he probably – I would have to be talented, though. I would have to do a good job. Uh, Northwest probably is talented. She's probably not as talented as the other – Oh, they said she sounded terrible. Oh, see? That, hey, hey. There, look. I'll go ahead. Money talk. Yeah. This is my thing. This happens all day, every day to our uh, uh, descendants of the Caucasus Mountains counterparts. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what they do. Like, I don't – look, Let the, if that's what happened, let nepotism – absolutely. We – black people rarely get to benefit from this. Mm -hmm. Rarely. Mm -hmm. um, and if that's what it is, then so be it. Like – I agree with it. Yeah. Put her nine. If she can't sing or act, put her nine singing, acting self right up around that stage and let her flourish because we see it all the time. All these directors and uh, directors and producers, they got these relatives and they just like, hey, it's just a question. You want to be in my movie? Hey, I got a role for you. Why don't you just be in my movie? Absolutely. Yeah. When uh, Will Smith did, uh, what's that movie he did? What is it just basically him and, and his son? son? Yep. I forgot the name of that. No. no, it's a it's a like a sci-fi. That one too. They it's a sci-fi movie. It's an alien. Yeah, after, after Earth, Earth, I think. Earth. And his son was like, "Oh, I could do that." He was like, "Do you want to?" Yeah, put him in. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. If I ever make it to any type of level, doing that where I could put my sons in a position, yes, mm -hmm. all day every day, I'm gonna have to hire and fire all four of them before I bring on somebody else. Yep. There's too many people I've worked for. There was a company I worked for. There was one executive. He had both his daughters working for the company. I think one of them still does. Mm -hmm. The Another one, the one of the owners, he had his niece working for the company. These, these people didn't uh, uh, didn't uh, interview. Yeah. They just started working. Best they just showed up one day. Who's that at the desk? Oh, that's, that's Chris's daughter. Yeah. Who's that lady over there? Oh, that's so-and-so's niece. Why are they here? Yeah, they didn't even have positions at the time. They just made a position for them to work there. So yeah, I agree with it. People can trash them, and that's the thing. Only black people do this. Oh, of course. Only black people gonna get mad at other black people for doing something that everybody else is doing. We they doing it with LeBron, J Bronny James. Mm -hmm. He gonna catch all the hate possible. Yep, for going to the league. For going to the league. Oh, he mm -hmm. ah, uh, LeBron did the same thing. He didn't have nobody helping him. He was just that good. Yeah. So if he's able to bring his son to throw the ladder down to help his son up, absolutely. <clears throat> That's where we need help in. 
we don't be supporting each other like that. Uh, it got to be I, Illuminati. I know y'all. <laughs> I know y'all done seen that uh the skits of people telling you all. Well, I say skits because I always see it on Instagram. But how long the black dollar stays in the black community versus the uh, other um, races dollars? How long their dollars yeah. stay in their community versus what like, it used to? They're like the black community dollar stays in the community a few hours or something. Like mm -hmm. as soon as we get a dollar, we go spend it with somebody else. Everybody else, they money stays in their community for days and weeks before it goes out of their community. Um, but that's this. That, that's because of the one we have a system that's built against us, so it's hard oh, for of us course. to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I mean, the the system is Black built Wall Street, against they us. They was doing that. The system is built against us, but we're not doing anything to help or prevent that because we still, as soon as we get any money, we spend it on entertainment. No, or, no, it's a no, it's a whole lot of people. Sixteen goddamn K. I don't even know if the person was black. Who's it? No, it was. The, I saw the video. It, it was. was. Yeah, but <laughs> no, the thing is, it's yeah, like you got that. you got a lot of these black companies successful because of only black people though. Mm. Like I will say, that it ain't like it's definitely not a majority of us keeping the black dollar in our community. But you got a lot of successful black companies mm. successful because of black people. The I, only look at actively black. I, think, I guarantee you ain't no white people buying his stuff. I think and I believe we black people keep everybody rich. We're the reason everybody is successful because we spend our money on with everybody without you talking about hair products. Well, black women actually spend probably more money than everybody in the world we they just support everybody but if it wasn't for black folk you wouldn't nike all these shoe companies gucci uh uh balenciaga all that stuff we be funding everybody's company but ours like we're supposed to so now i'm saying we do we you th oh okay well yeah i do believe yeah. that but we don't do it enough and here's the thing yeah, we are a large target or a large uh, beneficiary of that. But Gucci, Balenciaga, them places could afford to lose a black dollar and not be affected by it. I don't think so. Think about it. Mm. Back when Tommy Hilfiger said, or they said that he said something racist on the Oprah Winfrey show, mm. and this man had never even been on the Oprah Winfrey show or shown any racist thing, all black people stopped buying this man's stuff. Mm -hmm. Going Macy's right now, and that's the first brand you see. He was not affected by losing the black dollar. I don't know about that, man. But Hill Figure probably owns more than just Hill Figure. He probably owns whatever brand we wearing now. He probably owns Polo. <laughs> you think Gucci and Balenciaga don't own multiple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> that's I, what I I'm do. saying. <laughs> I, I do. I, I think they own everything. But. Yeah. I'm saying I, the only thing, I, I'm just disagreeing that black people do be – we do a lot of us do do our part to keep the black dollar in like i said it's just a lot more difficult for us it's easy for a jewish person to say oh i'm gonna go to this jewish grocery store and only buy Jew my groceries from there mm. for black people to do that we got to research and go deep down into the deep down into la somewhere this if you living in the valley where we at you got to go hour and a half two hours to find that black grocery store to support so we're a Jewish person, they could go down the street. That's what I'm saying. That's the system that built up against us. And we, I'm not saying we don't do our part because we absolutely do. Mm. Like a lot of black people will make an effort. A lot of black people I know will make an effort. And this ain't the people that y'all know of my friends. I'm talking about the actual friends that I got that I've known all my whole life. They do put the effort in to spend the black prime example. My my hometown where they gave me my own day, Lexington, Kentucky. They have a, a area now that's put up specifically for black owned businesses. You go and it's growing by block by block. It started off as one block and it's growing and growing. Mm. And you go down there, all the shops, everything, all the businesses, everything in that area is black owned. And that's only expanding because the surrounding people are like, oh, I'm going to go over here and support. Mm. So I don't want to make it 
I'm not gonna put the 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 image out there that we don't support our people because we definitely do. It's just a lot more difficult for us to support our people. I agree with that. I like how you you put that. <laughs> I agree. That's why I like be talking things out. I'm, man. I'm glad, man. Yeah, because that's that's true. It's we don't we do support, but it's difficult for us to support. It's not as easy, like you said. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, moving on. Uh, I ain't got no segue. Uh, Good. How you, <laughs> one of the um, topics were um, a young lady asked, "Is it do men have the urge?" Oh, here I can go to it. Oh, okay, cool. I got it right here. So this is uh, we went to as y'all know Patreon. Well, pay, as Patreon knows, and I already said at the top, we uh, asked them. To give us some topics, I'm going to them now. Hold on, give me a second. Cause we had some really good topics. I got we, it right here, man. If we don't, did I send it to you? No, nah, I wrote it down. Do men have to always fight the urge to cheat? Do they always have? Yeah, that that sums up the question. Yeah. Do do men always have a urge? Fight? Are we always fighting the urge? Oh to yeah, cheat? here it is. Here it is. Let me just get it real quick. Oh, go ahead, Tempo. Uh, do you guys feel like all men have to, have to constantly fight the urge to cheat, like Goose said, or are these men playing it up uh, to prepare their women for when they actually do cheat on them? I feel like uh, men and women still have eyes for the opposite sex, um, fi- finding the opposite sex attractive when in a relationship, but it comes. Uh, but when, it can't be this daunting battle every day not to cheat, like some men make it out to be. Uh, I, me personally speaking, I don't think it's, uh, I, I do agree with you a little bit. They, they say, oh, it's difficult. I'm out here trying to be faithful, blah, blah, blah. The men that I know that had, that be out here running around on their wives and stuff is, uh, they usually flock with a group of men that do it. It's like birds of a feather. And they, when, when they in that environment, it's it's it. They start comparing what they do to what other people. Well, I'm just doing this. I'm not doing what he does. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So then they uh, they start to what I'm doing is not as bad as him. So I'm I'm good. And like I've been I've been around those type of groups where it's like dudes. It's like I could easily see like oh I can see how people fall into this. And what did I do? I separated myself from that group. Cause it was like we would go out, we would kick it. It'd be oh these random girls. Next time we kick it, oh with some of the same random girls. Oh they don't brought more. Oh how you doing? What's your name? Oh I'm Mark. I see what's going on. Y'all see y'all know all these dudes is married. Mm-hmm. Y'all see my ring. Mm-hmm. But they end up finding birds of a feather. They end up finding people that don't mind if they married or if they don't mind if they're married or don't mind being married and messing around. And that's just a lot of a lot of times how stuff happens. It's not cheating. Is not something that. It's not like tripping over a crack in the in the sidewalk, <laughs> you know. what I'm saying like, oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Oh, no, I didn't see that. It no. takes effort. <laughs> it takes effort to get away and and go out Man. and come up with an a, a, a you know what I'm saying. Man, it take effort. You about to, you ain't like you said. You ain't about to just trip over and fall into something. Uh, men are. You have men that cheat and men that don't. There's really no. Or people. We just say classified as people because yeah. women cheat too. Well, she, she was specifically talking about yeah. men, so that's why I said men. Uh, at, at, at a certain point, though, a man matures and cheating is like, man, whatever. Just to bust a nut. Like, I'm, I'm not. Risking not, all this, yeah, I'm not in, even interested in because it it's ruining, not just going to be cheating. Yeah, ruining my family yeah. just for. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna deal with you, and then I got to deal with my wife too. Like it's the the side chick ain't just gonna be a side chick. You're gonna have to do way more. Yeah. You just the stuff is just gonna accumulate, and now you have issues, uh, more problems. Um, Certain men just are mature about life and don't even think about it. I don't think about it. Now, 
I see a fine woman, yes, I'm like, damn, she fine. But it's not like, oh, don't hold me right. back. I got, I got to talk to her. No, it's not even. It's just like, oh, dang, she fine. Me and Mel could be walking down the street or wherever we are, mm -hmm. and a fine woman walk by, and Mel will be like, hey, you see how thick she is? I'm like, she is thick. Yeah, we, yeah, exactly. Me and I used to do the same thing. Thinking, thinking, yeah. But that's how, that's as far as it goes. Um, yeah, like you said, you know, opposite sex, you know, if you're attracted to the opposite sex, whether you're married or not, you're still going to see people and see that people are attractive. Yeah. Like me and Angel, we can't sit here and I can't ask her, oh, Michael B. Jordan ain't all that cute. Everybody know that's an attractive man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, most, I, most people would have, I don't I guess, I, that's just an example. Yeah. I, I don't know. Angel, no, I don't know how to judge men. Like, I just be like, he fine, ain't he? She be like, no. Nah. I'm like, all right. <laughs> what about him? No, he fine. I would think he was no different from the last dude. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But it's like I would be stupid to think, oh, my wife don't find no other man attractive. That's just just because she finds somebody attractive don't mean she's attracted to him. Yeah. Plain and simple. People yeah. are attractive. Um, but to fight, have to fight the urge to cheat, no, that's not a thing. The only reason a man, like somebody in the comments already said, if somebody going to cheat, they're going to cheat. Yeah. It's no different, uh, like I said, for men, if it's easy to get out of those, to stay out of those situations. Even mm -hmm. if you stumbled upon a situation like, oh, I thought to me and this coworker was just cool. Now I think it's something there. Pull back. It's that simple. Me, <laughs> me and Keon, we were uh, hiking. Um, for a time we were going hiking together and it was during COVID and uh, we were like man what would it take for you to cheat right and Keon was like alright so for for in order for me to cheat first we have to be up in these hills nobody can see us nobody <laughs> knows that it's happening a woman would have to come out naked already she would have to be wet already that would be terrifying I would <laughs> I would like have to be naked, like I, I shouldn't have to take my clothes off. And right before it happens, she I, she has to prove she got a COVID test. <laughs> like, yeah, it's it's so much to do it, man. It's so yeah. much to get involved with somebody else. Then you got to worry about disrespecting your wife, worrying about your wife finding out. It's a whole bunch of just That's, moves, uh, and ain't nobody trying to even deal with that. That, for, for a man to fight that urge, he's to always have to fight it. He's just he, he immature. He already wants to. Yeah. He already he, wants to cheat. Yeah. He he don't respect you at all, and he's just going to do it anyway. So yeah, And that kind of goes with, with uh, Candace. Candace L. asked, she was like, she wanted to hear our take on men uh, more valuing being respected versus being loved in a relationship or in relationships. And that kind of goes to the same of, when like I've heard the guys say, you know what, you know, yeah, I be messing around. It's not I, I still love my wife. You know, I love her. I love her. And when you know, when you're cheating, it has nothing to do with love. It's a lack of respect that you have oh, yeah. for the other person. Yeah. Um but yeah, me and being respected versus being loved in relationships, I don't know. Uh I to me they kinda go hand in hand. Hmm. I mean, just to your point, what you just said, love is 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 something else and respect is another. Uh, love, I don't know, man. I I would I definitely need to be respected. Uh, love is is uh, I would say love can be. Well, I guess res you can grow to respect somebody too. Yeah, they go hand in hand. I guess. Yeah, for me they go hand in hand because this is like. I can't even explain. When you do, I, when you have one and not the other, it's just like telling somebody the truth. Oh, I don't want. Yeah, I, I told him this because I respect him. Or I told him this to me. They just go hand in hand. It's kind of you ain't gonna get much deeper than that mm -hmm. from me and Greg. Uh, no. Did you want to hit on this? Uh, the 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 best one. Yeah, let's about hit on the, the income because I got a few more from Patreon. I appreciate y'all uh, sending these in. Yeah. Oh, here's one we can answer real quick. But no, a man should not fight the urge to cheat all the time. No. Nah. Uh, no, I want to do this one. I think we can cover that next one next time. Uh, this one. Let me think. 
Yeah, because a lot of people was asking about Father's Day. Okay. Good gifts for Father's Day. So we'll answer this question, then we'll talk about what you think is a good gift for Father's Day. Mm -hmm. And me too. Uh, is this coming up? When is Father's Day? Next month. Is it the first week of next month? It's first or second week? <laughs> Don't nobody know what care when Father's Day is. <laughs> Show no. No, nobody care. No. Mother, Mother's Day and Easter is the two yeah. biggest. June 16th. Oh, we got some time. Uh, Mother's Day and Easter is the two biggest days at church. Father's Day, don't nobody care. Mm -hmm. Restaurants be empty. Don't nobody yeah. care. Anyway, she said, uh, you and Greg are active fathers. Uh, do you have male friends that are not or do, or do the, that are not active fathers? Or do they look at you like you do too much? Or do you try to encourage them to do more? I do know a person or two that aren't nearly as active as they should be. And I have said something multiple times. I don't have any you friends. I, I have all my friends that are fathers are fathers and they're in their kid's life. Uh, they, man, yeah, even, yeah. Even the ones you think that wouldn't be the where yeah. I'm from, man, they the sports every weekend, the teams, that's that's what really holds them together going to the sport uh cuz they kids play sports. Um but all my guys what? they they take care of their kids. And the 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 uh the single friends, they don't they don't cause no issues. We don't have no drama like that. What you mean? Um, the single friend, the guy single friends don't ever say don't ever say that we're doing too much or oh man oh you gotta oh, keep yeah, it yeah. with your family today or um, you know oh yeah yeah no I don't know. know don't nobody do that the ones that I know they are there they're in their kids lives but I to me they could definitely do a lot more I see a huge slack yeah like uh like now I know you said the sports which I'm not knocking it at all but do you think it could be things outside of sports like football season ain't in. And, you know, is it just, oh, I'm picking up my son or I'm picking up my kids, we spending time together, something that has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with sports that they spend time with? Yeah, so that's the other thing about social media and this internet. So, you know, people love posting things now. And that that might also help uh, these guys uh, to show that they're being supportive because – Oh man, let's I wanna film this. I wanna put this on the internet. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the park today, type stuff. Oh yeah. And that's but what they, they be just posting. Show up and <laughs> take a picture with them and leave. Who's <laughs> <laughs> think I'm out yeah. here? <laughs> <laughs> but they be they do things. They yeah. go to the park, they go to amusement parks, they be out cooking out all the time with their family. Uh I haven't I haven't seen, I haven't been around uh my friends aren't dead beats at all yeah so yeah the ones i'm thinking of i can't even call call them dead beat but at the same time it's like you ain't far from it like you do the bare minimum uh, that's the just ones what that seen. i do know though it's not my place to talk to them so i mm -hmm. i don't talk to them i know several three three four i know four that i don't like at all but that's not my place it's you don't like what them as a father. Oh, you don't yeah. like how they operate as a oh, father. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Some of them ain't even there like that. But it's not my place because if I start some issues, I don't have to be. Yeah. I don't be in his house. I don't sleep with him. I right. Do, so. I, yeah. No, I got I cause yeah. some trouble and I'll be at the crib chilling. Yeah. No, yeah. I I agree with that. Uh, yeah, these ain't friends that he's talking about. He just knows them. Yeah. Uh, and those, that's where I'm coming from. It's like, I definitely know some dude. I know, I can name two right off top. I'm like, you a trash ass father and your kid's gonna grow up knowing that. Um, that's the thing too. Once them kids get of age, yeah. 15, 16, and they're like, oh, hell no. Yeah, you whack as hell. You, bye. That's, that's when it's gonna, that's when it's gonna hurt. But anyway. Uh, we'll get down that last one. You want to? Which How you long we been father? going? What's a good Father's Day? That's when we started. We didn't start right away, so we probably got like. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Father's Day. Uh, I always say if they got a hobby, lean into that. Um, 
Me, I, me, I don't be wanting nothing for Father's Day. I never do, unless it's something I've been actively looking at. Mm. Actually, I just bought my Father's Day gift a couple weeks ago. I need a new luggage, mm. and we're gonna be traveling before then. So I just went on about it. So I'm gonna tell Angel that was my Father's Day stuff. <laughs> That's me. I'm never like a big. I'm never had never have been big on like getting me something for Father's Day, unless she does one of them silly ass songs that I. Oh yeah. She be trying to do them damn songs <laughs> and break me down. Uh, I don't like that shit. What's that company? Too emotionally that? taxing. They be making them songs. I forgot the name of that company. Uh, just uh, head, man. Get your some, kids, man. Some head, man. From your kids? No, f- from my wife. You ain't her father. What do you want for Father's Day? Some head. That's it. It's all that matters. Moving on. We on see that can. transition. I don't want no. This came from uh, Lucretia Glenn uh, in Patreon. She said this question was posed to her on uh, her, or not posed to her. This question was posted on their local radio station. So this is not her question. This is a question that she got off their local radio station. Um, let me get my eyes to focus. My husband and I have been married for 12 years, uh, both work and have joint accounts of, for shared expenses. We also have separate accounts uh, for personal expenses. 40% of my pay and 75% of his go into the shared account. For the past last 12 years, I've saved $650 per month uh, from my income and now have over $100,000 in saving while my husband has about 15000 Recently, he informed me he'd like to quit his job and start a business. He noticed my savings account and asked me to cash out $75,000 to fund his business as he didn't want to take out a loan. This doesn't uh, feel right to me. I've been very responsible and disciplined with my money, and I don't think I should deplete my savings for this. What do you think? You want me to go? Yeah, you can go. Um, this is this is interesting. This really is interesting. For one, we don't know. I, I don't. We don't know how much they both make. Uh, which you ain't got to put that out there like that. But it be, it's kind of difficult. Like if he makes significantly more than her, and putting in seventy five percent of what he owes, uh, what he makes, and she's putting in forty percent because she makes it significantly less. Um, I would say that's kind of a fair trade off because you kind of working with the same amount of money, mm-hmm. may, maybe. But for him to ask for a loan or ask her for money, I don't. I wouldn't say deplete your savings, but you, I feel like she could definitely, uh, she could definitely help out the fact that he's been putting in a majority of his money for their share. He's been, he's, she says she's been very responsible. Well, he's been even more responsible because he's been putting in most of his income. I'm assuming, mm. what well, if it's seventy five percent, definitely most of his income to help out with everything. And you've only been putting in forty percent. Um, again, it's kind of hard to say. Uh, because we don't know what they make, but I don't. I wouldn't say no. You definitely shouldn't deplete your savings, but you should definitely help out and be uh, shit majority owner <laughs> uh. <laughs> of this company. If we if it's if we taking things like I get majority of shares of this, if I'm helping fund the startup of this company, but you got to have a hell of a you got to, you got to be a, this got to be a damn near hundred percent like successful like we this oh okay this is foolproof we can definitely make this company and it's a good trajectory it ain't no huge huge risk but you can't just be up and quitting and just to do this you got to it got to be a phase in and out i'm assuming i don't know what he does so it could be something in his uh that he's already doing yeah in the lane that he's already in it's like oh i can start my own company doing this i just need a startup yeah uh no i don't agree with uh depleting your savings but i do agree with you helping him out because the fact that he's put in most of the money for the past 12 years on everything else and made you able to save $650 a, a month. That's my thing. He's What he's bringing to the table has allowed you, her, to save that amount of money. 75% of his income versus your 40% is, I mean, it, it, proof is in the numbers right there um i th- also believe he should have a business plan oh yeah and sh- That's hey, somebody just said, yeah. this is this is what it is and this is why i want to do it 
uh, it doesn't have to be 75. 75K is ridiculous. Yeah. Don't have to be 75K. Let's do 30. So I got a much smaller, yeah, I was yeah. about to say 25. 30, let's, I loan the rest. Yep, yeah, let's do 30. We, we can do 30 because uh, 30, if shit goes south, we still have enough to pay that loan off. Right. Without any any penalty. So uh, let's do that because that 30 might be enough and then, you know, you off to the races with just the 30. Yeah. Um, but I do believe. She said over 100K. So she may, it may be 120. I don't know. Yeah. That that's I need a I need a business plan like from somebody that I don't I like pretend like I don't even know you and you yeah, asking me you, for this money. You have to show that it's that it's profitable. Right. So um you know, I'm not quitting my job until I'm able to my side hustle is is pass or compensating for my job. Mm -hmm. So then I'm like, okay, so this is possible, so let me quit my job now. But if you're if this guy is quitting his job because he has a good idea and ain't even implemented anything about that idea, no, I, no, he she shouldn't give him anything if he hasn't done anything on his business. Yeah. So uh, it's like, what about our past history makes me think that this is a good idea yeah. for you to start your business? If the if it looks promising, yeah, then like you said, twenty five thirty. I, I, in my opinion, mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, he's old. If it, if he, if everything Goose said is is right, and he proves that like you have a strong business plan, you actually are an expert in this, or you are really good at this. Mm -hmm. This is I could definitely see this. I don't see how this could not be successful. Twenty five thirty, I kind of owe you because you've been taking care of most of what's going on around here, which are seventy five percent in yep. on what we used to do, but. If all those don't line up, then we got to talk. <laughs> this yeah. is gonna be a hard conversation. For for women though, talking to to a man, you have to be calm. Don't put him down, and explain it elementary to him so he won't feel disrespected. We need a business plan. This is why we need that business plan. Break, show him everything. So now he has a task to to accomplish. And yeah. if he brings that to you, and and then y'all are able, well, you only making two hundred here. You should. It's whatever, whatever. Yeah. Or or you flip the investment. Now you put in. She should put in seventy percent. 75% and, he and put now in he 40 put in 40 in and the start money. saving. Yep, and he can start saving or start using that money to mm -hmm. fund his business. I think that that all right, well you put 75, put yeah. 40. Now I'm going to use this money to fund the business so we don't lose anything. Right. Yeah. Cuz yeah, that's, that's a huge uh that's a drastic difference in in, you know, for to have a joint account for expenses. Yeah. On the family if I'm putting in 75, you doing that 40 over there. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's. So he's doing something right. He's got to be, you know, pretty level headed. You got you a good like, man. Yeah, you got you a good one. Yeah, yeah, because he's putting in forty. <laughs> yeah. He's putting in seventy five. I'm over here making fifty thousand. I'm putting in seventy five percent. And that's the thing about men. We just want to make our ladies happy. Mm -hmm. Oh, we a sacrifice. Oh, baby, I live off twelve hundred yeah, a month. That's, that's best. You can have truth. your seventy five thousand, hundred k in your. That's that's crazy. And yeah, well, y'all both doing good, but that's wild for him to have been saving. Well, for, for y'all to be saving like that, and for her to be up here, and he's like, I think that's he got some balls too asking for it. Cause yeah, seventy five is a lot. Yeah, man, man, that's yeah, that's hands down. That's that's a lot. Yeah. I'm saying you got to come away from that seventy five. Yeah. 25 30 I think that's reasonable yeah and then to ask for I would you ain't taking no loan from your wife like you probably ain't gonna be paying that back you gonna you want that money no that's what no contract you, gotta go yeah, in place you ain't you, borrowing you, this yeah you gotta treat that like 
like anybody else, like somebody you don't, you that has to be a contract. Just to just to keep both of y'all, just to keep y'all happy and for, to keep things the water from getting muddy, like that got to be a contract. He should open up a business, open up a business credit card. And if not a contract, not expect him to give it back. Like, okay, babe, I believe in you. Mm. Here it is. Let's see. And you never know. You, y'all might break out into something glorious. Yeah. He should get a business card, credit card, and take the money out that credit card. And he has like a year, about 15 months, to pay that money back without any penalty. And there you go. I don't know. It might not be long enough, depending on what it is. Mm. Well, she should... 30,000, I would say 30K with the business plan. And if he's already making money in that business and it's not just a bright idea, yeah. I think I think she owes him that. Yeah. Uh, and also, man, they're married. That's not just her money. You know what I'm saying? It's their money. Right. She's just setting it aside, supposedly for them. That's how it's, that's that's what yeah. I believe in. Um, so she should, you know, yeah, baby, this is our money. I'm saving it. Right. It's in but, my account. But my yeah. But the thing is, is he quitting his job? Yeah, that's no, no. And then all right, so I'm a, I'm gonna quit, but I'm gonna need you giving me as much. No, that's that's where. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm like, no, you keep working. Yeah. We're gonna take this thirty thousand, mm-hmm. twenty five, thirty thousand to start this, and then we're gonna ease into it once we see that it can be successful. Yeah. yeah. But just quitting and taking seventy five, yeah. Even though he like I said, he's put in a majority, he's def- definitely done the responsible thing. That's a hard that's a hard pill to swallow. But all right, fam, we're gonna get up off here. Hopefully y'all enjoy. Thank you again, Patreon, for giving us those uh, questions, those topics. Mm-hmm. We appreciate y'all. Goose, go let them know where they can find you. If everything fails on Father's Day, you give them some Man, of that. Man, let them know where they can find you. you. Give some of that top top. What if they ain't got kids? What if they don't have kids? Right. Where would you be giving them for Father's Day if he ain't got kids? I thought you was talking about these people. Go ahead, Goose. I thought you was talking about them. Yeah, I'm just saying in general. I don't know what we. I don't know what you talking about. I really don't. The last topic, the people, the seventy five k taking the thirty thousand dollars from his wife. Oh, and that's what you talking about. That's nah, what I thought you. I thought you were still on the subject. Day. I should have known better. If all else fails on Father's Day, give him some of that top top. That's what I'm talking about. You can catch your boy Goose on. I-G, G-O-O-L-Z-B-Y, Building with Goose on YouTube. And um, I'm not a lawyer, but the debrief on YouTube as well. Uh, backslash Patreon, right? That's how it go. Y'all can find me on Instagram at Marcus on the Gram, Facebook at Marcus on the Book, TikTok at Tain Don't Talk. Y'all can find my building body butter called Man Shit. You can go to M-A-N-S-H-Y-T dot com and check that out. And if you're watching, you can listen to this. On all podcast streaming platforms, if you're listening, you can watch this on YouTube, Taxi TV, Let Us Tell It. And uh, y'all can also join my Patreon, patreon.com slash thatchickangel. Uh, Till next time, fam, we'll holler back at y'all.